Hi, I'm Alexis Sigler from Living Energy Farm. We're a community of people who live off-grid. Our setup at Living Energy Farm is different from any other off-grid situation we've seen. Our situation is cheaper and more durable. We want to show you what we do. This past winter, we had temperatures where we were below zero every night for about a week. That's cold. But our house stays almost uh, warm almost entirely with solar power. We do that by building super insulated buildings. We build a cheap stud wall out here and then simply lean straw bales up against it. Then we plaster the straw bales with stucco. It makes for an insulated house and it's no more expensive than an ordinary wall. With our 18 inch thick walls, once the house warms up, it stays warm for a long time. We have solar thermal collectors on the roof and our daylight drive DC blowers take that heat off the roof and blow it under the slab floor so the house warms up and then stays warm. We have a similar system for a hot water. It takes heat off the roof and stores it in insulated tanks so the water stays hot. The combination of solar heat collected on the, on the roof, blown under the floor by daylight drive blowers, and thick insulation in the walls allows us to reduce our need for firewood by about 95%. Given that we've reduced that need, then we can then meet that need for extra heat with a small, cheap little wood stove. Some people try to live off-grid. Many others are installing grid tie systems where they generate some solar electricity during the day but still remain dependent on the grid. The living energy farm method is different from either of these approaches. We figured out different methods of saving energy and storing that energy so we don't have to store a lot of electricity in batteries. We have super insulating the energy that we have so we can hold on to that energy. Uh, we don't run a water pump or a refrigerator at night. Because we store thermal energy, instead of trying to store electricity, we've re reduced the size of our battery bank by about 90% compared to what most people who would live in off-grid houses would use. It's sad, but the leaders of our environmental groups are telling people to build all electric houses. We don't feel like that's great advice. The sun doesn't shine at night, so you have to heat those houses or cook your dinner. You're using power from coal, nuclear, and frack gas power plants. At Living Energy Farm, we don't use power from coal, nuclear, or frack gas, and we also have no energy bills. In our next video, we're going to show you a 100-year-old battery that still works. Stay tuned. We're expanding our initiative to provide daylight drive to low-income communities around the world. If you would like to know more about our community or to partner with us to expand our mission, please check our website and join our email list.